Today we're going to be discussing the installation of a Cody bike rack light onto an Equip D bike rack from 1UP. The first thing you want to do is remove the four socket head cap screws that attach the bike frame together in the back of the, the Equip D rack. So you can see that's one start, partially started already. I was using an 8mm uh, Allen wrench and take those off. You won't need them anymore. Next, you're gonna ins temporarily install the light bracket in place and line up the screw holes on the side here and get it ready to install the new screws into place. Uh, the assembly kits come with either a, a black socket head cap screw or a shiny stainless steel socket head cap screw. Both are stainless steel. This one just has a black oxide coating. Um, the ones that come from uh, one up have a little bit, sh they're a little bit shorter. So we made them a little bit longer to take up the space of the, the bracket adds to the assembly. Uh, we're also adding a washer in there that just protects the, the powder coating and allows a better clamping surface for the socket head cap screw. And we have, provide both the same washer. It's both a black oxide stainless steel washer. And now we're just threading in the screws on both sides. Just tighten them and thread them all the way down and and you have your tool, you'll be able to tighten them and snug them up with your wrench. You're gonna tighten these four screws down, make them nice and tight. You're screwing into aluminum, so you don't make them, don't over torque them, but uh, just make sure they're nice and tight, probably about the same, same torque that you use to remove the screws in the first place. As you can see, we routed the cable down the back of the light. We tied it to one of these slots on the light bracket itself. We created a service loop in one of the gaps between the trays here. Just wrapped the cable up and zip tied it in place and then ran the final distance down into where it connects to the vehicle. And we've got a, a tie here and we have enough space length here that we can actually fold it over and wrap it around this tray during transit when you're moving the rack around your garage or something. Um, you want to be careful to avoid these pinch points here. If the cable gets caught in there or has a problem, it's going to to pinch it and damage the cable itself. 